So this is my second edition of children's books that I have read to my three and five year old. Uh, the first book that I'm going to talk about is Animal Masquerade by Marianne Dubé. She's a Canadian writer and this book was published in 2012. Uh, <clears throat> it's about these <clears throat> animals who are invited to an animal masquerade and so they decide to dress up as different animals. <clears throat> like <clears throat> a snail dresses up as a tiger by putting tiger stripes on his shell and now what will the tiger dress up as? The tiger would dress up as a sheep by putting fur all over his body and now what the sheep would dress up as? A sheep would dress up as porcupine by putting tricks on himself and so on and so forth. Uh, the good thing about this book is that it highlights each animal uh, with a separate page for them and they're very easy uh, one-liner uh, sentences below so it's very easy for your three-year-old or even your five-year-old who obviously has outgrown this to follow uh, what i did not like about this book was as a parent as the reader i was bored by it because it was very long and that's a lot of animals to get dressed one by one one by one um, Another thing was that some of the animals were difficult for my child, like porcupine, um, even a wiener dog. I'm trying to think of more. Uh, zebra is fine, flamingo is fine. Uh, but um, yeah, there were a few that uh, I know my kids uh, found difficult. Like there was a uh, a dromedary and a camel and they got a little confused between those so there are a few difficult animals especially for three-year-old not so much for the five-year-old i think the five-year-old is ready for these animals but the book is really focused on children who are less than five so it can be a little difficult that being said uh my kids really enjoyed this book they loved it uh, especially my three-year-old. He went back to it again and again and he thought it was hilarious that different animals were dressing up as different animals and he liked to guess what they were dressing up as even though the picture is right in front. So if uh, uh, this is an armadillo, another difficult animal by the way, uh, the hippo has decided to dress up as the armadillo and so the armadillo would naturally follow next and then the armadillo would dress up as a crab a lobster and so the lobster would follow next so it was pretty easy to follow that way but i just thought it was really long i think it's around 120 pages that's very long for a three to five year old uh it's very boring for a parent uh but still a fun book a fun read i would rate this around three and a half out of five the next book that i'm going to talk about is Oko by Esme Shapiro. I don't know where this author is from, but this book was released in 2016 and I really enjoyed it. Um, I remember when I was getting it from the library, I was thinking, I'm not gonna enjoy this book. It's about friendship and all that. It seemed very done over again and again and again. And I like to explore different concepts with my kids. Uh, but last night when I read it to my three-year-old, he seemed to really enjoy it. Uh, it's about a fox called Oko, and he wants friends. And uh, first you learn all about Oko, which is so important for uh, children to know the character and to like the character and to feel like the character when they're reading about it. It has very nice, colorful illustrations, uh, though I think the drawing could have been better. And then he turns himself into different, uh, he puts, he, uh, he masks himself into a different uh, fox altogether to make friends, which is quite sad. And he's still not happy with the friends that he makes. Again, just one line so the child can follow. You can ask the child throughout, what is he thinking? What's going on with him? Why is he sad? What is he going to do to himself? Is this real or not? and the child can follow and uh, so it's very easy for the child to follow. Uh, what I loved was the ending when he found the right friend for him, a raccoon who is just like him, who has the same interests and now they are happy 
and they can play happily. So it teaches the child uh, that all you need is someone who likes you for who you are, your interests, your uh, hobbies, and um, you can be happy. You can find a friend for yourself. There is a friend for you. Maybe he's under the rock somewhere, but <clears throat> there is someone for you. And like I said, beautiful, beautiful, colorful pictures. Not the best with drawing, but uh, very easy one-liners are below. And, it, and the child can follow with you. My child was answering all my questions throughout. Why do you think he's friends with them, but not him? And uh, it, it, it was a nice book to read with uh, my kid. <clears throat> The next book I want to talk about, and I know this is very popular, it's a series now, in fact. Uh, there are three books in the series. This is the first one. I want my hat back, but I won't be continuing with the series. I did not enjoy this book, and I know my kids didn't either. It's by <clears throat> John Klassen. It's called I Want My Hat Back. I think the second one is I Found My Hat, or the third one is This Is Not Your Hat, or something like that. Uh, this was released in 2011, another Canadian writer. Uh, <clears throat> this is, it has very dull pictures. Uh, so this is a bear. I don't think it was a very good looking bear, by the way. And he cannot find his hat. And see, so he goes around asking everyone for his hat. And no one is ready to help him. And all the way till the end, he asks many people. And suddenly he realizes that he met someone at the back who had his hat. And so you have to go all back the all the way back the pages because I myself do not remember who was the character that had his hat on. You meet so many characters. And it was actually him, the bunny. And when the bunny refuses to give him his hat back, and this is, surprise, surprise, creepy, he eats the bunny to get his hat back. I was shocked when I was reading this and I did not enjoy this ending. And my kids were like, he ate him? And I'm like, yeah, he ate him. And he was like, okay. And I was like, mm, yeah. So I I don't think this book is for everyone. I did not like the ending. I liked the book that was following, but I didn't understand why he had to eat him. I understand he's a bear and that's a bunny and he might be interested in eating him. But I don't know. I mean... I just, I felt like it was too violent for my kids, so um, I didn't enjoy it. Uh, yes, so these are the three books that I read. I would rate this probably a 2 out of 5. Oko, I would rate a 4 out of 5. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed uh, my second, uh, yeah, second uh, two of children's book reviews. Thank you.